Mountain Grand Am kicking off at 1 p.m. Eastern time from Daytona International Speedway only on speed. Also tonight, the cup race, the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series, uh, which, by the way, if you have a, a NASCAR, uh, I'm sorry, a Sprint phone, uh, you can get the NASCAR Sprint Cup Mobile or the Fan View. If you're out there, you're also in the uh, fan uh, section out there, which is uh, pretty cool in the infield there. It's a little party deck up top there, and that's a perfect place to watch that race. You're going to be uh, totally enjoying that race tonight under the lights with the fireworks uh, tonight as well. Uh, tomorrow, IndyCar at the Glen, MotoGP at Cataluna. We'll talk about that coming up a little bit later. Also uh, joining us in the next hour, Artie Aronics Insiders Report and also Marshall Pruitt to talk some Grand Am racing. But right now, uh, we have a special guest joining us on the line. Uh, Scott Wimmer joins us on the phone here. Scott, welcome to Race Day on Fox Sports Radio. Yeah, it's great for having me on. Thank you. Hey, not a problem. Uh, just, uh, you know, helping get the name out there. I know you're looking for a ride. Uh, you've had uh, a couple rides this season so far. Talk about your career right now and, and the state that it's in. Well, you know, right now I think, um, you know, not only my career, but a lot of guys' careers are uh, kind of in the same boat. Um, you know, last year I ran for a team that really was underfunded and wasn't real competitive and decided I didn't want to do that anymore, that, uh, you know, I was only going to race cars that I felt like I could win with and, and uh, have a chance to lead laps. You know, that that's very smart because we've heard from a lot of different drivers, uh, you know, hey, I just got to get in a ride, seat time, seat time. But a lot of the times you get put in that situation, you kind of get boxed in as a guy that can't, uh, you know, race a car because, one, you're in a bad bad equipment or bad personnel has surrounded you. Yeah, definitely. And it was something I just wasn't interested in getting into, getting involved at this year. So um, just stepped back and started looking for rides that were competitive. And, um, you know, at this point, you know, I've only run five races, but I've led in every race I've ran. Um, I would have had top tens in every race I ran except for uh, the accident at Nashville and Talladega. So, so far it's working out good. It's still, uh, you know, it's hard to find a, a secure job. It's hard to find a ride. Um, you know, the economy being a little shaky, but I'm still hanging in there. Hopefully better things will come. Now, uh, nothing set in stone, but you're still working on a couple more races uh, for 2010, correct? Yeah, uh, you know, I'm looking at maybe running about six more. Um, you know, I've talked to some teams, and, you know, I, I get calls from teams, but I'm just being real picky and real choosy on what I decide to drive. And That's got to um, be hard as a race car driver, not to get in a car to make sure it's the right car. I mean, that's got to eat you up sometimes going, man, I could be sitting in that car, you know, racing today. You know, that one of those things when you're sitting back and watching, how difficult is that? It's really tough. And, uh, you know, I, like I said, a lot of drivers are going through the same thing. I look at Bobby Labonte, the guy's a champion. He's won races. He's done a lot in his sport, and he's having the same problems. Uh, he can't find a ride. He can't find a ride that he wants to drive in where he can, can be competitive in. And, um, you know, I'm 33 years old. I think I've got a, a little bit of time left in this sport. But, um, you know, I just decided right now, is, you know, maybe it's just better that I step back from racing, um, you know, just focus on quality rides. When I do go out, I'm always in the top ten. I'm always late in laps. So. I think that looks better than just being out there. Now, what was it like uh, a few races ago? You actually uh, raced for Junior Motorsports. So talk about that experience. Well, there, you know, there's been a lot of different things we've done uh, this year. You know, I've been doing a lot of testing and, and um, you know, not so much racing, but doing a lot of testing. I've tested for RCR. I've been in ARCA cars and, and uh, cup cars and a lot of different stuff. So I've been thrown into a lot of different vehicles this year, which, um, you know, it's kind of neat. It's a little different for me. I was strictly a, a you know, oval track racer. Sure. And uh, kind of getting the, the the tour of all the different series now. Wait, which one has really, uh, have you opened your eyes to going, hey, this isn't bad. I can handle this. Oh, there's a lot. You know, I, I'm still a, a short track racer. I still love racing stock cars. So anytime I can jump in one of those, that's uh, that's the ultimate dream to me. So. Um, you know, really enjoyed uh, doing doing some testing with RCR. I was uh, driving for them in 2007, 2008, and did a lot of their testing. And right. they asked me to come back and do a little bit for them too now. So that's uh, that's been real enjoyable. Our guest on the line, Scott Wimmer. And, Scott, you're setting something up for the future? You're a track owner now. Talk about that. Yeah, definitely. I don't know what I got involved in there. Um, <laughs> it, it's been uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of work. Uh, I bought my hometown track, State Park Speedway. Uh, the track was built in 1951, and I don't think they really did anything since then. So, um, 
you know, it was fun. Went up there, worked with a lot of my friends and family, and um, put in bathrooms and just really trying to update the facility. It was so old and, and run down that we needed to do a lot of work to it. But so far we've had three races this season. Um, all our races have been a, a huge success, and hopefully we can continue that going for a long time. So how do we get more information on your track, you, what you got coming up next? Uh, you got a website with information? Oh, yeah, it's uh, stateparkspeedway.com. That's uh, the racetrack up in Wisconsin. Me, Scott Wimmer, dot com. Um, you know, hopefully I'll have, I haven't had too much to say on there lately, but hopefully during the summer months we're going to get things uh, going here and get a ride and, uh, you know, hopefully finish the season up. Hey, I got to give some props to the uh, Wisconsin fans out there. They did a great job. Road America, man, showed up and uh, you know made the racing uh, guys proud. We were, I had Steve Wallace. We were talking with him earlier, and he had mentioned uh, it was neat to go uh, after the the cool down lap, uh, going around the track with the window net down, and all the fans just applauding and waving, and uh, how excited they were to have that race there. It was pretty neat. Yeah, it definitely was. You know, Road America is a different venue than we we normally uh, go to with the mile, but. Um, it was great to see that turnout, and racing in Wisconsin's huge. We don't have a long time to do it. You know, we only got about five months of racing with the weather, but those five months, people really go out, they really support their drivers and uh, racing series and things like that, so it was uh, great to see that race back up there. Scott, glad to have you on the show, man. Always a pleasure. Thanks for the update, and man, uh, hopefully we'll hear from more news with you in a couple more, and like you said, five, six races before the end of the year, and uh, maybe working on a bigger plan for 2011. Thanks so much uh, for the update again, and uh, nothing but the best of luck to you. All right. Thanks for having me on. No problem, Scott. Always a pleasure to have you on. 877-99 on Fox, 877-996-6369. Uh, quick squeeze and a phone call here. We go to Jeff in uh, New York. Welcome to Race Day on Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Jeff? Morning. I uh, hope you can hear me okay. Can hear you fine, man. What's on your mind? Well, uh, I'm thankful you're on the air this morning because if I hear any more about LeBron James and the possible combinations, <laughs> I think I'll go wacky. But uh uh, I'm uh, up in the Watkins Glen area looking forward to the big race tomorrow. I'm uh, like you. I love road racing, and, and to be able to walk around that track and all those turns and, and, and make a really a day out of it, uh, almost a picnic, is, is, a, is a great thing. Uh, and I think I, I told you about a couple of months ago how they <clears throat> excuse me, opened the first day of the, uh, the year with three uh, cars. You can go out and a nice experience. You know, I, I've, I've seen tracks do that. It was actually when I was out at Miller Motorsports Park when I was doing uh, – I went out there, and they actually had uh, – between sessions, they had the uh, regular cars. Guys uh, drove up, brought their cars out, and it was neat to watch. And uh, I know they do this at other tracks as well. Um, but it is pretty cool. If you ever have the opportunity to go to one of your road racing courses, uh, they ha actually have days where you could take your regular car out there and go drive around, and it is a lot of fun. That, that track, it's really probably had it until I one minute. So it's when I did it this year, and you really understand. I think. It's, hey, you Jeff. Know, you were talking about your starting order. I'd like to see. You know, hey, Jeff. I'm gonna have to let you go. Um, I'm, Hey, Jeff, i got to let you go, man. Your phone was breaking up there. I apologize for that. Uh, and plus, I'm up against the break here. Hopefully, you can call back in and talk about that uh, starting uh, lineup order because my thing is top 35 in points. And I've talked about this on the show before as well. Do we change that? Do we change the top 35? Do we make it, since it's top 12, make it to top 24? Or are they going to change the, how many people get in the chase? We'll talk about that as well coming up uh, in the next segment. We have Artie Ronnie, Artie Ronnie's Insider's Report. We'll talk a little F1, uh, the wing, adjustable wing they're talking about over there, 15. USGP and the penalties that we may see. All that coming up in hour number three, plus Marshall Pruitt will join us on the line live from Daytona for the Grand Am Race, getting you on the grid. I'm Rob D'Amico. This is Race Day on Fox. Welcome to Race Day on the Now Network. Right now, 712,000 people can listen to live race audio on NASCAR Sprint Cup Mobile. Most overheard phrase? Get the NASCAR Sprint Cup Mobile app, newly redesigned and free with any data plan. Only from Sprint, the Now Network.